you know it's me your little boy is something i have something authentic unique for us choosing ones today you know they wanted indeed to scare you to make you to become afraid of them <laughs> but that is their greatest waste of time yes trust me <laughs> You know that there are people whom you have never done nothing to. People just convince them to be hating you. And many of them want you to do or to be afraid. You know, one day, one guy tell me, what oh, he said something. You no, know, after doing all that he was doing, I was just looking at him. He was saying and saying everything. I look at him, I say, wow, wow, why are you? He said, eh, eh, now you are afraid of me. I start to laugh. I look at him, I say, <laughs> everybody there, were, were, all of them were sure. I was just laughing. I said, me, someone like me, afraid of who? I, I was just laughing. He becomes so, was so ashamed of himself. Because let me tell you, choose this. The fear is one of the greatest weapons of the devil in life. This is why some people will intentionally try to hurt you. People will intentionally try to spoil things around you. People will intentionally try to provoke you. Because they want to project fear, scared, into your life. So that you won't be able to do what to confront them. You won't be able to do what to do those things that they can do. So that whenever they are around, you'll be scared to focus. Because the greatest way that devil destroyed a man is through fear. You know, one day... Uh, there was a place that we went for work, me and some of my, some of some guys. So when we get to that place, after some hours of working, the man started to say some certain word. And oh my, oh, 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 all the whole guys in that place, both the men and the, all of them were shaking. And unfortunately for the man, I just come out because I went out to go and urinate. So fortunately, I met the man. The man was shouting. None of them, all of them, keep silent. If you see them, very tall, like a like a word of what word of Babylon. I was just looking at some of my friends. Why? Why can't you people respond? Why can't you people tell the man that ah, you people have been working like four to five hours, and you you ought to have a, some some little what rest. You, you not that you start. You are you are now playing. No, you are working. In my mind, that is what I was saying, because while I was related, I was hearing the man, you know, loud and all those stuff. The moment I, uh, I come out, the man will start to shout, where did you go? You were supposed not to walk out from this place. I keep silent. And I look at the man, I say, good afternoon, sir. Can I, can I help you? What is, your, what, is, what is the problem? The man was looking at me. And the man said, where did you go? You are supposed not to walk. I will tell you when to come out and when not to. I look at him, I said, I don't look like all these guys. You know what I'm saying? You have to respect your workers. I'm not the kind of person that to relate with nonsense. He was speaking, I threw away everything that I was using to work. I said, I want to go home. Carry me instantly. I give you 30 minutes. Or else I will call what? I will call police for you. This is harassment. This is embarrassment. And this is humiliation. You don't need to harass me. You don't need to humiliate me. You don't need to embarrass me. So if you don't like what I'm doing, you let me go. There are other workers. He becomes so afraid because he knows that I have already told him the law. Then he said, eh, 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 the next thing he walk away. And now my friend will say, Sassen, what did you just say? Because the truth is that if you don't stand on your feet, if you don't stand on your bed feet, there are people who want to provoke you. They intentionally want to do it so that they can project fear. One day, one of one of my friends said the word. He said something. You are not. You don't fear. I said, why will you fear when you know what is right and what is not what right? The reason why you are afraid is because you have not yet be able to know whom you are. So don't let no one scare you. Because that is one of the greatest weapons that devil is using to kill a lot of people. That is one of the greatest weapons that the devil is using to destroy a lot of destinies. Ah, I'm afraid. It, mostly some people will tell you, ah, this thing you are doing, do you know that this one has lost, this one has failed, many people have failed in this place because they are not whom you think they are. devil is using a lot of people to frustrate a lot of people up there. So don't be a victim. 
I'm not saying you should be rude, you should be arrogant, but don't let no one project scared or failure into your life. When you are wrong, you plead. When you offend someone, you plead. But when you know that you have not wronged them, you have not hurt them, you have not done anything wrong to them, my brother, stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Because let me tell you one the reason why they always do this thing. Because many of them have seen something that is coming on your way. Many of them have seen, ah, you are doing this thing. So this is what is what we come at. This is the outcome of what you are doing. So in order for them to stop that thing, they will project fear. They will project fear. We have them all over. We have them all over the places. Some people will tell you if you don't do this. We will never be, you, you will never be employed. You will never work under us. Fear of unknown. So don't let them project this their evil things on you, bro. Because the enemies are indeed working day and night. Trust me. They are looking for whom to devour. People will always try it by all means to project fear. To project what you know, uh, 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 scared into your life so that they can be able to strike, so that they can be able to delay, so that they can be able to do things that would destroy your 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 goal and purpose, so that they can be able to make sure nothing work out. So be careful, be mindful. Remember, blessed me, God blessed you.